As we are all aware, Cyclone Rimal has wreaked havoc across the northeastern states of India. Mizoram has unfortunately borne the brunt of nature's fury. At the outset, I convey my condolences to those who have lost their loved ones and to those that have been displaced, both in Mizoram and in our neighboring sister states. Today, we are united in tragedy and in grief. While the unfolding tragedy cannot be expressed in mere words, we are overwhelmed by the outpouring of love, sympathy, and prayers, not only within the country, but even from our well wishers abroad. I commend the efforts of our NGOs like the YMA, community volunteer groups, disaster response teams of the state and central governments, some rifles, officers of the state PWD, power and electricity, public health engineer, police, the medical fraternity, and last but not the least, officials of the disaster management and rehabilitation department. I would also be remiss if I failed to mention the personal attention and active monitoring by the Home Minister, the Chief Secretary, the DCP, the district administrations in the state, and by all MLAs of their respective constituencies. So far, a total of 167 villages in Mizoram have been affected by this natural disaster, with Aizol, Lunglei, and Mamit being the worst affected. However, due to disruptions in communication, reports of affected families continue to trickle in from across the state. In the wake of severe landslides, triggered by incessant rains induced by Cyclone Rimal, since Monday, Mizoram alone has reported 27 people confirmed dead, of which four are non -bizos. Amongst others, tragic stories of houses being swept away in Falcon, Limen, Salem, and Aibok, and whole families perishing in these disasters continue to flow in. Search efforts for the others missing continue unabated. The dead toll is expected to rise as these efforts continue and many families have been evacuated in several localities and villages. Around 70 families in Sairang, Sairang Lintar and Simui villages were evacuated due to the flooding along the banks of Tlong River. These displaced have sought shelter with relatives or in community halls and schools and cyclone shelters. Massive community work is underway to clear the debris and mud accumulated in the residential buildings. Mami district has, alone, uh, has also been battered by gusty squalls since Monday night. In Zolwa, Mami district, 10 families have been evacuated to safer locations with 18 more families on standby for evacuation due to the rising levels of the Lankai River. A search operation has been launched to rescue those still trapped. Landslides and overflowing of water bodies have adversely affected road communication in many areas and in some stretches, roads themselves have collapsed. Similarly, electricity supply has also been disrupted due to power lines being damaged by fallen trees and landslide debris and in some locations, poles themselves being washed away in landslides. Consequently, mobile and Wi-Fi connectivity has been severely disrupted and communication with district administrations and villages is extremely difficult. Water supply continues to be affected due to muddy water, dislocation of supply pipes, and submergence of supply intake and filtering systems. Road communication to our only referral hospital and medical college, that is Zora Medical College, Falcon, around 17 kilometers from Mysol, was disrupted for nearly two days. Patients, staff, and students were left stranded without electricity and drinking water. The diesel for generators to run critical units like the ICU and blood bank had to be delivered on foot over a 5 to 6 km stretch. A catastrophe which could have affected scores of lives was averted due to the selfless service of our police personnel 
and other volunteers. Similarly, due to the tireless efforts of our officials in the ZMC, PWD and power electricity departments, power and road connectivity could be restored late last evening. Efforts to resume regular water supply is still underway. As we touch through these trying times, I urge you all to remember us in your prayers and we welcome assistance in any form for those whose lives have been devastated by the cyclone. Individual contributions may be routed through the Chief Minister's Relief Fund. At the official level, we will also be approaching the central government for assistance and we hope that they will listen to us with sympathetic ears. Thank you, Zaihin.